How different? Not actually that different. Uh, it's a little different, though. We're going to take the Carnado 152, which is in front of you. Uh, and you know what? I think we're going to rent a red one, actually, because I like... That says it's red. That's interesting. Do you suddenly not like red? Okay, that's the one we're going to fly. And I'm going to go ahead and leave all of that in the video. Anyway, we're going to fly the red Carinado Cessna 152 from Shelburne, Vermont to Long Island. Specifically, we're going to fly to Spadaro. And the route we're going to take is... Uh, let's see, we're going to fly south uh, over Rutland and then down over Chester. We're going to pass by just to the west of Bradley International's... Um, controlled airspace and then we're going to cross over uh, Tweed New Haven and then down into Spadaro. So it's a relatively long flight especially in a Cessna 152 so we may stop on the way to you know break it into a couple of legs but I've got plenty of fuel on board to make the flight. Um, I do have the weight and balance all checked out. Uh, we have enough fuel for about three hours and with a 10 knot tailwind which is what we actually have right now I think it's going to be doable, but worst case scenario, we'll get maybe an hour, hour and a half in, see where we are, and see if we want to keep going. I've already done a pretend uh, uh, pre-flight on this plane, so let's get it started. Yeah, I love how this terrain is sloped. In real life, it is not. Uh, this is my home airport. It is uh, VT-8. Uh, Shelburne. Anyway, let's go ahead and bump that up, and we'll turn on the bacon and the nap lights. Give it a little bit of throttle, half inch. Turn that, turn, 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 and we are started. First thing I want to do is set my, um, that's not right. Uh, anyway, I'm going to set my, uh, I'm looking at a, a notepad on the side with my uh, VOR frequencies and the uh, radials that I'm supposed to fly out on, and I get the feeling that I'm probably not supposed to fly out on the 735 radial, because that's not a radial. Oh, but anyway, we're going to set this to 118, uh, oh, what? That's nav, right? Let me double check that. <clears throat> so that's right. A nav, a nav VOR should be a different frequency than that. Uh, let's see. K rut, 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 rut. Oh, 111.0 on the 195. That seems better. 111.0 on the 195. I'm just going to annotate this real quick. All right. And that makes sense. And I guess... Go ahead and bring my yoke back. And we're going to go ahead and taxi up to the other end of the runway. And I'm already having a fight with my headwind. Or my crosswind, excuse me. the damn hill. But <clears throat> with a little bit of uh, momentum we should be fine. And that is what I have. Quite literally a little bit of momentum. As I slide up the hill. Jeez. It's not actually this bumpy in real life here. Um, and uh, I'll leave the carp heat off. This is supposed to be a taxiway here. In real life, this is a taxiway. So, I'm going to cross over it and just pretend it's a taxiway in game. But before I do, I... Go ahead and turn on my transponder. I apparently didn't do a fantastic job making this, uh, this scenery. Bounce, 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 bounce. You know what? 
They should not have pharynx. There we go. Cross country 152. Woo! We're almost there. Let's, let's not break the thing. I'd like to be able to use my suspension for when I land, you know? There we go. And then the wind, according to the windsock, is coming from that way. Which is good, because... It's about time for us to take off. That's a relatively strong headwind, so I'm not going to bother with... Uh, with back taxiing, obviously it's too late anyway. And trim it up, 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 and here we go, we are airborne. Oh, and we're climbing like a friggin' bat out of hell. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring her around till we're heading just about south. South. There we go, and we'll just uh, throttle it back to, let's say, 2200, and right now I'm just flying with my feet, so we can take a moment to look through the instruments. probably have checked. Uh, let's see, what is KBTV? Does anyone remember? I don't. KBTV is... what is ATIS? ATIS is 1238. Windy today. I love where I live. Oh, you're not gonna let me zoom out further than that? There we go. Boop. Oh, and I'm off course. I'm just trying to bring it back with the rudder. I want to try to stay off the off the yoke as much as possible. Although the wind is going to make it a little bit hard for me to do that. I think. All right. Gosh, you wouldn't believe that the wind is. Well, let's say it was yeah zero two zero at one four. That's nothing, it's a 20 minute tailwind. Or 20 knot tailwind. So that must mean I have a honking fast ground speed. And so, uh, let's see. If I can manage to fly this with my feet. Well, I set this to. 
There we go. That's the 190 radial. So once we get closer to Rutland, <coughs> we should be able to... Uh, we're going to cross that radial, and then we'll just follow it south. Maybe there'll be better winds aloft. Uh, or higher aloft, further aloft. The other thing I wish this plane had is a DME. Um, although I may be able to use a poor man's DME uh, shortly. Let's see. So while that's doing its thing, no, oh, I don't see anything there that'll take me the way I want to go. Sorry, I was looking at my charts. <coughs> um, if there is a, uh, a nearby ADF, then you can uh, pretty easily in a plane like this just uh, figure out the location of the, of the signal <coughs> and use it to triangulate your position on a chart, but that's obviously not going to happen because there aren't any ADFs nearby. So the 190 is off to my left. Yep, and I should just basically be following the lake down. Um, let's see. I don't want to exactly follow the lake down, though. Actually, looks like I am picking up an ADF. Two six seven. What is two six seven? Uh, shucks, I actually don't know what two six seven is. I'm looking down over my chart again. Two, 276 is Hanover, New Hampshire. Alright, so when that is due east of me, I should be near Rutland. So obviously I still have a little ways to go, but that is good to know. Uh, you, you may not notice what I'm looking at, but this instrument right here is showing me the direction. Come on, Jesus. Get it. You want to climb. You're a good little plane, and you're anxious. So in this, this right now is pointing at a radio receiver in uh, Hanover, New Hampshire, which is uh, just about the same distance north as uh, as Rutland. So when this is pointing due east, I should be right over the top of Rutland of K-Rut. Maybe not right over the top of, but real close. This is a really nose-high airplane, I gotta say. And it's because it's got a really full load. Oh, don't let the wind pull your pull your tail off course, buddy. Or rudder! Fight it! There we go. Is that like route seven, I think? Alright, so I'm gonna wanna stay below this haze. I don't know, is it even really a haze? It's clear, only it's not. I'm gonna throttle back a little bit. Oh, 
sorry if you, uh, I'm making you sick. Alright. So I should be relatively close to K-Rut, I think. I need to find it, but... I am willing to bet that... Come on, trim out. for the airport. It seems like I haven't been flying all that long, though. But... <sighs> well, I could just use my instruments. That would probably be the smart thing to do. see it. Alright, I am just about due north of it, though. So if I fly due south, I should hit it. And do I see it? No, but I'll, I'll find it. Since I'm due north of it, I can pretty easily just fly south. throttle. And, jeez. This thing is motivated. And I'm, I'm using the, uh, the compass in the top, sort of right-hand side of the screen to navigate. Is that camel's on? <clears throat> it might be. I need to fix some of these views. Yep, these are all wrong. <laughs> Those aren't what I'd like them to be. Alright, and with the load I've got in this plane, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say my VNE is like... <coughs> or my maneuvering speed is 102 knots. I got that from a calculator.
course. Fun times. I think I know what's going on. So right now I'm flying over uh, like Castleton, I think. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically coming east so I can hit that radial and then come over the top of Rutland. The air's a little bit clearer up here as we cross 4,000. And yes, I have to take my screenshots for. video and I'm just trying to find some shots that don't look stupid and I'm over the top of a river which I, oh yeah that's definitely uh, Lake Bombazine I think St. Catherine? It could be. The wind, uh, the wind blew me off course. Or, you know, alternately I just wasn't friggin' paying attention. Which is way more likely. There we go. It's about south of me again. south on a very short east-west, I believe. Concerns me a great deal that this hasn't uh, hasn't really moved much yet, though. So right now, I'm coming over the top of the Green Mountains. Although, to be fair, Rutland is uh, a in the Green Mountain State and B close to the ridge of the Green Mountains, to the, the sort of top ridge line. And 
and the wind has pushed me south again. Alright, so we're right at about 6,000, so... I'm go ahead and tone down the throttle a little bit and see if I can sustain me some level flight. high, but that's okay. Alabeo. I think I'm saying that correctly. off so much. Let's go ahead and hold it back to the south with our feet. south. Oh, but this is pointing almost due east, and this is saying that it's south of me, so it must be around here somewhere. And I'm basically flying level. The problem is that, uh, necessarily flying straight. Yeah, I just straight don't see it. Oh well. At least we're out of some of the choppy air. Is the uh, the library. I appreciate that. All right, I can probably lean out the mixture a little bit. Probably should have done that earlier. friggin' valley. I don't think 
that's Middlebury. I think that's Rutland. Oh, but you know what? The airport is south of the city. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So I should really be looking, like, out there somewhere. It's not the fastest plane in the world, I, I will say to the- oh, there we go. Alright, so this little, uh, that little lake right there, I do recognize, because it's pretty uniquely shaped. Um, so I recognize it from the charts, I don't recognize it from real life, but that, uh, that puts me right over the top of Pittsford, which actually is, this would have been helpful before. Two, two, one. There we go. Yeah, and that's called Smutto, which is hilarious because Pittsford is actually the home of the police academy for this state. So it's very funny to me that the ADF is called Smutto. It's back that way. So yeah, I'm going. I'm fine. I spent way too much time second guessing myself and not enough time actually flying the plane and trusting that I knew what I was doing. There we go, so I'll set back the way it was. Oh, that should be 195, not 190, so... Two, two, three, there we go. 195. City of Rutland. As our fuel load lightens up, we should be able to assume less of a nose high attitude. Although it's not too bad, it just has a big old honking nose. That make it better or worse? open if it's actually two degrees. Alright, then at this point, I'll smoke a cigarette. I'm not going to screw with the door. I've done that before. It makes strange noises for a long time. Alright, let's check the... Amperage is good, voltage is fine, RPMs are good, ADF is good, I dent for the lulls. That's fine. Nice and level. I'm not gonna call it straight. I will call it level though. That said, well, I should be flying to the left of the airport. I'm going to come around to the right, and that is it, by the way. Um, just so I can see it better through the window. 
there it is. We've made it to the first, or through the first leg of our journey. So that was 51 nautical miles. The next leg is uh, 74, and that'll bring us down to Chester. Once we get to the Chester VOR, from there we'll decide if we want to continue along or find a place to park. I'd prefer or park land. I'd prefer not to land at a at Bradley International. We can. I just I don't really want to because this. Half the fun of this is that it's a VOR flight and we're doing it all uncontrolled. And Bradley International is obviously an international airport, so there's a tower there. That is literally the whole reason why I don't want to. Because I'm being whiny. Now there are a couple of airplanes between uh, airports between here and there. Pittsfield. Um, let's see, anything else interesting? Deerfield Valley, which I actually thought looked cool. Uh, the Bennington Airport, which is more state, DDH. Uh, we could hit that. I have never been there before, and I think I found a scenery that would work for that. Mm. But I'm going to say no. Let's see, what I would like, however, is to find another sort of ADF in the right direction. Um, or at least in the wrong direction. I'd take one directly behind me, too. Oh, and there is one. Smutto. So, basically, as we fly where we're south, we're going to want to put Smutto directly behind us once we get on this VOR. Or once we get on this radial, excuse me. And we're almost there now. And I should have probably started this turn earlier, but... Whatever. It's not a big one. It's 15 degrees. One, nine, five. And I'll have to go past it to get back on that radial. And a little bit of uh, pressure on the rudder. Fly over the top of a ski area up in front of us, so that'll be fun. Let's see, what is that? I don't know what Deerfield Valley is. Woodford. I'm just sort of talking as I look through the charts. Uh, I don't know that area of the state very well, to be honest. And yes, I know it's a small state, but. Spent a lot of time out of the state. How the fuck did I get all the way off to the side of this VOR? Oh yeah, because I accidentally did it on purpose. I don't want to make too many mistakes like that, though, because they will get costly. Time-wise. I just did the wrong thing. The VOR is off to my right, and so I flew to the left to try to intercept it. That was me being stupid. There we go. And I'm basically... If I can figure out where I am on the chart, I believe that, uh, that road in front of us is probably the 7, which again, none of you know or give a shit about, but basically I need to be on the other side of the road. But not yet.
my dog appears to be upset with me. Maybe... Maybe I should land at K-Rut. Because he is sad. He's crying now. Well, that's mildly irritating. And don't get me wrong, I love my dog. Yeah, he's sad. We're gonna we're gonna return to K Rut and land there. Alright, and I've got the mixture up to full, just to make sure that we uh Don't stall as we descend accidentally. Um, basically idling the thing. Um, it's not quite a real idle, but it's almost an idle. Because we're on top of the, the airport. Puppy, I hear you, and it's okay. So... What I think I want to do, what is my altitude? 6,000 feet, yep. So I'm going to... Flaps, oh shit. No, not flaps. I need to be inside the white. Alright, descending... There we go, flaps one. And... I will... We've got to land the plane first, Wally, before we can bring you out. Flaps two. There we go. Sending at a thousand feet a minute. A little bit less. Yeah, I didn't tell you what my my baggage was when we started this flight. It's my puppy dog. He's very important to me. Yes, I know. You need to go to the bathroom. We should have stopped at Rutland. And we are basically idling at flaps for descending at eh, 1,200 feet a minute. Then my plan is going to be, uh, if I can, this is going to be the, you know, Iraq War style combat landing, uh, like I was going to Baghdad. Uh, but if I can't, then I'll just enter the pattern from above, which is terrifying, but I mean, it happens, you know? There we go. I'm still way too high, obviously, but... That is where I'm going to land. Oh, jeez. I've got to go... I've got a couple more revolutions to do. Am I going to make it before my dog urinates in the plane? Let's see if maybe I can... I can speed up these turns a little bit, and that should help us descend a bit. Yeah, that's quite the descent. Four thousand feet. What is K Rut's uh, altitude, though? So it dawns on me that I don't know. K Rut. K Rut's altitude is. Checking out my chart. Uh. 1,700 feet, so I'm actually not that high. I'm gonna get down to 2,700 feet while I'm out here, but I am going to be able to make this work. So it's almost a friggin' dead stick, though, because of how I'm doing this. Yes, puppy, I know. I know you need to go to the bathroom. You should have gone before we left. 1,500 feet. Alright, and now I'm going to bring her back around. I think I'm far enough away that this will be an appropriate descent distance. Thousand feet above the runway now. 
and there's the runway, and I'm just going to pretend that I, I just came out of the, uh, out of my turn, and I'm just turning base now. Pretending. Come on. Alright, I really want to watch that friggin' my descent speed. Because it's going to be really easy to screw up my descent. It's right about 500 feet a minute, and I'm probably a minute away. And I'm about 300 feet above. That doesn't seem right. Actually, I'm still too high, aren't I? My angle is wrong. Yep, way high. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? Should I s try to slip it in? Got full left, a bit of right. I'm basically flying like that. Oh, that's not going to cut it. I can do a midfield landing. I'm going slow enough, so I'm not actually all that worried. Of course, I'm not at all lined up with the runway. <sighs> what do I want to do? Uh, I'm carrying a bit more speed than I'd like, but... It is kind of an emergency. We're going to go ahead and taxi back. Oh, Jesus. That was a friggin' deer. I'm going to hurt a deer. Welcome to Vermont, I suppose. Majesty of Nature. I'm gonna trim this thing down as hard as possible. Jesus. So I'm trimming my nose down so I don't accidentally take off. Taxing with a tailwind sucks. Alright, I believe this is the GA area. We're gonna go over here. Taxiing. So much fun. I'm almost as bad in real life, too. Alright, we're gonna head down to the, uh, the orange... Orange hangar down there. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job following the lines. Uh, 
Oh, it's gonna be so loud in the recording. Alright, now we need to get my dog out so he can go to the bathroom. Quickly! Quickly! Alright, let's go ahead and kill that, kill that, kill these. Open this door, and now we can get out. Jesus, what a terrible way to end a video. Alright, thanks very much for watching, folks. I will uh, do the next leg of this soon.